Hi everyone, it's Judy Lee here, and this is just a video showing you my March journal um, that I have finished what I'm going to do because, you know, I'm going to always add more stuff as I go. Um, but anyway, here's the, the back of it, or the binding. Um, I put multicolors because it's all in my cover. All these colors are in my cover. Um, I just used a uh, little label I had here and put my march on here. Um, put some arrows. Um, it's just some sticker arrows I had. Um, put a strip here. This is just a base uh, from some of this paper. Uh, I think it was the other side of it. Um, and then this just says sometimes you just need to make your own look. Um, and I put a little piece of cloth behind it, lacy cloth. And I used some sorry ribbon um, that I had in this bright yellow because I love it. Um, and I wanted to use it. And then I put three little green gems here. And that's it for the outside cover. Now on the inside, um, this was another one of those sheets. And I love these things. It was a calendar is what it did. And I just cut it in half. Um, and then cut uh, the bottom half, which is corners, to write on. Um, and I put those in the front and in the back. And uh, just made little tucks with those. And this is just a, one of those um, collages I did and made a um, journal card out of it. <clears throat> and this is just a piece of paper that I did not use in here and I made it into a fold out uh, envelope to write in um, and here's some of that paper uh, that I put on the inside um, then this was just a journaling card and I'm gonna put my date on here um, and I just stuck a piece of card in there to write on And these are just some uh, tea dyed, um, color dyed, stained, just sprayed uh, with stencils and uh, used some sprays and stencils and did some um, about a month ago, I guess. Um, then I just used a sticker here because I'm going to be writing on a lot of this. Um, I just put be playful, be happy, be awesome. Um, as you can see, I'm just doing the springy colors. I'm not doing the St. Patrick's thing. Um, uh, maybe a little bit in here, but you won't see much of that. Um, I just want it to be springy. Uh, another piece of the outside cover. And I just put some gems here and another little uh, foldable to write in. And I just made a belly band out of that. A wide belly band. Um, another sticker here. I was trying to use up some of the stickers I have. Um, and then this was, uh, oops, uh, I missed that one, I guess. Okay. Uh, another belly band, and that was, y'all saw me make that if you watched that. Um, uh, one of the challenges I did. Um, that was just a uh, leftover paper that I did, and I put it on top here. I thought that was really cute, and then just a piece of paper to write on. Um, this is a sheet. This is the only cardstock sheet, I think, that I used in this whole journal. Um, and I wanted it so I could fold it on either side and have little tucks. There's another one of those stickers that was on there. Uh, and then I just put in a couple of pieces to write on. Um, I used a lot of these label scuffs, trying to use some of that up. I used uh, some of these, and they were a sticker type um, that you fold and stick on there, which I'll have to re-glue. Um, but I'm going to put my dates on here. And uh, then here's another belly band I made with another strip. Uh, I just put one of those little uh, fake postage stamps here and then a couple of sheets to uh, write on. 
another one of those labels and it had the little edge on it for a ticket and I was like oh well I'm just going to use that as another um, I forgot what you call them <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about anyway and this is another one that I had done uh, I think this was coffee dyed sprayed um, with a stencil I love how it turned out um, and then on this side of course um, I went ahead and just put a a gem there, a flat back, um, so that it wouldn't be plain. And then another one of those labels, uh, another sticker that I've had for a long time and never used. And this is an envelope that I had. Uh, just put in some the leftover when I sprayed and it made a mess I, on the glass here. I just took it and smeared it so it's got a little bit of uh, stuff on it. Uh, then on the other side, I took a piece that I cut off, and that's going to be my label to put my date. And I just stuck in some stuff that people have sent me, um, and things that I've accidentally made um, to write on. <clears throat> uh, then here's another journal card that I can write on, and uh, I just stuck some papers in here. Um, I think some people that sent me a couple of things and I just want to write on them. Um, oh, and these are uh, packaging. It's packaging. That's what else I used besides my paper. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm making this and I still have the pneumonia. Um, anyway, some more of those uh, tags that I'm going to be uh, labels that I'm going to be using for my dating process, my stamp dater. Um, and I just took some of those Dollar Tree uh, tassels and put them on um, <coughs> some paper clips, excuse me, <coughs> to make dangles and to hold in my papers to write on. And somebody had sent me. Uh, this ribbon and it was just enough to put on here so I put that on there for you know just put it on the edge um, and then I just put another one of the, well this wasn't a sticker I made it I put it down love the little things it's a piece I've had from I think some cardstock at some point or a calendar one I think that's a calendar um, this is the piece that I cut the other small piece off of because it was too long and I made this into a pocket and I'll put my date here and I've got some sheets someone sent me these I believe <clears throat> and I just put those there now on the inside I took and uh, made my initials put my initials on here and uh, that's going to be just another little pretty um, another label uh, live your life in color, <clears throat> which I'll probably write all over here with different color pens and stuff. Um, and then here's the back of the envelope, and I tacked it down. Um, there's always a reason to smile. I've done that years ago uh, when I was practicing to uh, stamp. Uh, and then here's another one of those bands. I think Miss Betty, you sent me these. Uh, <clears throat> journaling cards and I made it into a band and just stuck some paper into there. Uh, then we have this one that says good luck so there is a little bit of you know the Irish stuff but not much. Um, this one is just a piece that I had left over from <clears throat> I believe this was a gift bag um, and I cut it into strips and I only had a few pieces left so I figured I'd use one here and made a tuck out of it um, and just put some pieces left over. This is some of that this paper that was left over when I folded it and then just a journaling card. Um, another one of those uh, from Dollar Tree I think um, <clears throat> and I just put it on the thing. On the other side, I put that little notebook I made, um, which I think I did a thing on that for scrap papers, <clears throat> and tucked another piece under there, another label. Uh, here's the other side of that green one that I did. 
and I just put a little sticker there and tucked in a piece to write on. I'll probably write on this as well. Um, this is pieces of a big uh, clover ribbon and I had cut them and I made a couple of these but I only put one in here <clears throat> and um, just made a ribbon uh, paper clip. Uh, here's another one that says good luck. Uh, another one of those uh, labels and I put <clears throat> one of my fabric uh, I don't know if somebody sent me these or if I got them from the store. But anyway, one of these little fabric flowers. I thought that was cute. Here's another one of those tabs. That's what they're called, tabs. Um, it was one of those uh, sticker ones and I glued it as well and just put it on there. <clears throat> and as you can see, that's another one of those stenciled ones. And this one was tea, I think, tea dyed. Um, this side, I, another one of those where I was practicing just, you know, doing some stamping. Um, and it says laugh. And I thought that was cute for greenery. <clears throat> and then another label. Another packaging paper. Now, I took another piece of the inside of this paper that was left over. Trying to use all my leftovers. I put another sticker here. Uh, it says artesian. And then I've got a lot of little pieces left over from the scraps <clears throat> that I folded to write on. And y'all, if you watch my <clears throat> things with um, the challenge, this was one of them. And that's one of them I had left that I didn't put anything on. <clears throat> and it had green. I said, well, that's perfect. And then here, of course, is part of that calendar. It says March. <clears throat> so I could just circle the day and stamp it. And then I just put a piece of cardstock that I had in there to write on. And that's one of the <clears throat> um, uh, make something from nothing. And I took strips <clears throat> and then uh, cut it and made uh, tags out of it. And uh, put some of my uh, hole reinforcers that I made. Um, and put it so that's that and this is one that I use scattered leftover spray paint or that I sprayed inks and I just wiped it all on it <clears throat> this is one with stencil leftovers and then I did put a clover here it's the only one I could find that I had in my stash and I was like just glue it on there I mean you know I can write all around um, and then we are at the end, and another one of those Dollar Tree things. And that's it. That's my completed journal. Um, and it's a little bulkier than I normally do, but it's okay. <laughs> and I have a few other things that I'll be putting in here as I go along that I've kept to the side for next month. But I wanted to get it. <clears throat> shown before I start writing in it uh, and y'all will be seeing this March 1st because um, I'm going to go ahead and upload it today which is still February uh, 20, 25th today's 25th is Friday um, but I'm going to upload this today so that y'all will see it the first thank you for watching and I'm hoping to get on here a lot more um, in the coming days, uh, <clears throat> once I get over this pneumonia, uh, and I'm feeling up to it, maybe I can get more done, um, and start doing something again, um, so that I at least get on here once or twice a month, um, instead of just once a month, <laughs> get on here a few times a month anyway, and I will talk to y'all later, bye.